All right, how's everybody going? Oh, I got a mosquito on me. So, haven't been doing videos lately. Me and my wife have been taking some time off, doing vacations, camping with our son, uh, getting ready for the next baby, and really just enjoying life. So, we are at a KOA in... You got, yeah, flies on you. Near like Allentown, uh, gonna do Hershey okay. Park and all no, these no, no, other no, different things tomorrow. But <laughs> Liam, who's that? Is that you? That's why he's going around you. You have food, I guess. Yeah. Oh, gotta do what I did at the other campground. Spray around the deck. Spray around here. That's what I did when we were there, and they kind of stayed away. But we got a little good fire going. Eat your food. The table doesn't look uh, that appetizing to eat <laughs> off of, but <sighs> we'll show you our messy cabin. So we bring that little bit of wood with us and then we stopped and got more when we we're here. But basically we bring all the essentials. We got our little, uh, cooking top we can make eggs on there and stuff uh all kinds of drinks i don't know what the heck's on tv got pretzels diapers mini crock pot the what i said diapers but we learned our lesson from the last cabin Always book one with an AC now, and you can see how low that is right now. Yeah, you're tired. You're on the bed soon. But yeah, we uh, stopped at this uh, place that was about 10 minutes from here, and we picked up more. Yeah, Ray, he just got more wood out that warehouse over there, so that's where they keep all theirs. Well, instead of buying wood at the campground, it was like $10 for a little bundle about that much wood. So we are like, eh, we'll drive around, look for some wood. So for 20 bucks, I gotta wait till he passes by up there. I'll show you how much wood we picked up. So this was part of it. This was part of the 20 bucks. And all that. So that was what 20 bucks bought us in wood. Got some big, so I had to do a few things real quick. But, uh, all right, Liam, we're gonna walk down to the lake. The stream, yeah. No, we're not playing in the water again. Come on. Oh, my big boy. So fire's going pretty good. Come with us. Oh. Why wouldn't you be able to go? So? The birds are watching it. As long as our cabin don't burn down and the car don't catch on fire. See, I wanted a grate like that where it flipped up. No, our, ours is built in. Ours is uh, like welded into it. Like that one, you could start a fire and then flip the grate down and then cook your burgers. Ours, we gotta kinda shovel the coals once it gets hot underneath of it. There's one right there, we'll just break the wood off. <laughs> so yeah, we're right next to this pretty cool stream. got like uh crystals and stuff in it but we saw a little fishes swimming around in it i don't know if you can make them out yeah but i'm pretty sure yeah i see all the bugs 
pretty sure if you walk it, like, you might find some cool stuff. Or just some trash. But, I don't know, this is the kind of stuff I like. Because me and my brother growing up, we were always outdoors. We were outdoor people like this. There's a crystal right there. You see that? You see that? Well, yeah, our cabin was right next to a pool and we decided to switch. Which they had no problem with that. Yeah, water does kind of stink a little bit. But that's all the fish poop and stuff. Alright. Yeah. They're pretty cool looking. Come on, sit on my hip. Like, I don't want to be the weird one, but I think if I collected some of these rocks, I could sell them at Columbus because people would clean them up, they would put them in their aquarium. But it's like, I'm only going to get three to five dollars, but three to five dollars is quite a bit, but we still got another campground to go to after this. And then trying to fit all our stuff back in, it's like, is it really worth it? I don't know. I may grab like at least four when we. Some of these like rocks, like those right there, mm -hmm. those yellowish kind. See if I can sell them. People buy anything. But. That's a pretty nice campground. Alright, we gotta head back to our fire. I'll see everybody later. Yeah, it's smoking over there. See, I'm one of those people. I like my fire going. Now, hopefully all this will burn down. Create a nice kind of pool of coals. And I'm kind of going to shovel it under the grill top. Which, that's still got to be cleaned. And hopefully cook some uh, hot dogs, different things on it. But you can see the fire's going good. Compared to the neighbors. But as you guys can see, no smoke. I don't know. I don't like my fire smoking. I like my fire going. Like people who know me at home, my fires go big. All right, well, now we gotta wait an hour for this kind of to burn, burn down. Bert's putting Liam to bed, so I gotta kind of stay out here and uh, wait for her to come out. But it's a beautiful place. You hear the birds. Like, literally right next to the mountains. Ow. Just like scrape my leg. Hmm. So they ran electricity to each one of the cabins. They ran water. Yeah, I'm wondering why they didn't run like a sewer line. They might have it because a lot of the cabins now different places they're like building this back part on so where that window is there would be a door and then they have like a small bathroom right there built on the way the looks of it these windows open up I guess to get uh, circulation through. Hmm. I know nobody's renting that cabin because that was the other one we were gonna switch to if we didn't get this one. 
but we're literally right up there next to the office which was right next to the pool also so every time we would go outside liam would want to run to the pool all right i could go help my wife Fire's finally turned into coals. See that nice red amber bottom? Pretty soon, we're gonna poke it a little. My wife's walking up there to the bathroom. We're kind of far. She gotta go right where that little yellow light is. That's the closest bathroom. <sighs> little man didn't wanna fall asleep in the cabin, so. He's out here in his octagon. Yeah, he's falling asleep out here. But tried having him be a big boy, sleeping just on a bed. He didn't want it. He wanted his octagon. I guess he feels safe. He's been doing that when we went to Vegas, when we went to AC, all these other places. So that's what he's used to. Be quiet. Lay down. All right, we'll see everybody later. I'm gonna cook some food now. Some, uh, we got some burgers. My wife brought some salmon, so she got some tin foil, which is out on the table. She's gonna wrap it up in tin foil with uh, butter in it, and then we're gonna place it on there. It's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. We're gonna remove it, and the salmon will be perfectly cooked. All right, we'll see everybody later. Bye. All right, so we're at the Crayola factory. We made our first crayon. You have to sit it up on these lines. Wait, what? Stand up. Why are you doing that? You gotta stand up on you it. You get the right what you want on it. So, Logan, do. All right, you ready? Yeah, head down here. Yeah. But a pretty cool place. Oh, they got popcorn and stuff. Yeah. Liam, let's go. Let's go. These are the chairs. You can't take the bed. Two tokens for one dollar. Why does it look like a cafeteria again? Yeah. Modeling madness. I guess you get to make things. One token. To make stuff. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, we, we don't do we don't that. Oh, let's keep walking. Alright. Come on this way. Yeah. Pretty cool. Drawing. Made a duck. So much stuff everywhere. Yeah, well, well, Britt, we gotta like hurry up, walk through here because remember the bus just arrived. Yeah, when we got here, uh, five buses full of kids arrived. So it's like 
by the time they get up to this floor, this place is going to be a madhouse. Each bus had like 80 kids on it. Alright, let's go do something else then. Yeah, because they had like 80 kids on each bus, so how many kids is that? A lot. Let's go. Plus the chaperones. They didn't have any reservations. No, she said they didn't. That's why the guy had to go call the manager. He didn't, he, he was like, oh. Yes. I mean, how, how can you just show up to a place like this doing that? for my son to go down the slide in there. We're finally at something else. He's having fun. Why does this one stick out more? That's pretty cool. It's like a black, a black, uh, no, it's a black, like, uh, little filter that hangs down. And then when you put these in, the light goes through this. Yeah. Hey, he did it. I know. He takes after his mommy. He's a scaredy cat. That thing's huge, though. Watch the other kids for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they got bowling and everything, like. All right. I think he could spend the day here. It's not a water park, but it's, uh, it's where Dan should take uh, Luca. I don't know, I might call him and I'll, I'll tell Big Dan, like, yo, and Liam, no, 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 we we're, we're, we're not doing this. We can come back later at the end if you want to. I don't know what else is here. Good boy. Yeah, we only got two hours on our parking. All right, you ready, boy? Let's go. Liam, we're leaving. Right, hey, put them back. We got a gift shop. Liam, we got, we'll get you the gift shop. Come on, Liam. All right, All right let's go. Get you guys back in a little bit. Uh, no, let's go. I don't mean to drag him away from stuff, but here, go in there. You're not going that way. Come on. Oh, we're on TV. 
Liam. Liam, what? Liam. Dude. He's still a little too young for this. When he has, when he's four and he has his older brother, then it'll be better. We go up there yet? Yeah. Yeah, my videos go. Oh god, they're already coming. Uh, if any other. All right, so basically we had to skip a few things because the school kids already got up here. Huh? Uh, not all of them, but now the lines for everything is just 30, 40 minutes long. Oh my god. We're never going to, yeah, let's see. Why are they all here? I don't know. There is no more. So basically, that's it. They should have had a reservation. anyway with the boats and there's no way he can go in there oh that goes all the way up yeah he's too small going to the gift shop oh, a cool little train up there because everywhere else was too crowded but it shows you like when they came out with the different markers Yellow came out in 1903. I wonder if that's wrong. 
Orange came out in 1903. Brown came out in 1903. Ow. Stop, don't grab my eyes. Oh, your mama's spending a bunch of money. Stop, don't, don't kick me either. You getting that? Yeah, this is what I wanted at Target, but we never had it. Before. Okay. Well, boxes come with a crayon sharpener. That's pretty cool. You fill it up. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Duh. Wait, are these actually markers? Yeah. Or are they just the lids? Uh, they're... They're all markers. No, it's actually... Yeah, they're markers. $18 for each one of those uh, baskets. Glo Globblers. Globblers. All right. I would get you the blanket, Britt, but I'm going to spend 30 bucks for it. Yeah, no. Wow. I would say about 10 bucks. Brad, is your cat here? I know, right? Hey, All right, Brad, you ready? Because he's getting heavy on my shoulders. Yeah, walk we'll back here real quick. All right. Yeah, Brit's cat sounds like that. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Excuse us. Hey, stop pulling my hair. I think that kid said, my mom always sent me with $5. Oh my God. Uh, I'm like, that's kind of mean. How much? Uh, 15. That's the same price spent for his Kate May one. Yeah, but I'm a... Uh, Well, I like blue, so. All right, enough with the gift shop. I have to say, the worst part about camping is he gets up too early. So he woke up around 6 o'clock in the morning. I ended up getting up around 6.20 to get him up. Went and take a shower and everything. And we just hang outside because my wife's extra tired. She's pregnant. Grouchy. He don't care. He's like, I'm ready to party. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, Dad, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you gonna push Daddy? Good job. Ah. Uh, so relax. All right, fire's really going now. Basically done cooking on the grill. Cooked burgers up there. We cooked a bunch of asparagus, which let me try one right now. Oh yeah, they're good. 
Mm. Oily. Yeah, I think so. Well, uh, if anything, hmm. Dump the oil out. That's what I was about to say. Dump the oil out. We'll put them back on for a little bit. That way they like. Yeah, let's try that. All right. Experience. Yeah, we got way too much oil in there. Wah. Well, I want to dump the oil on a plate. And that burned the plate. Oh, yeah, you know how you why? Oh, it burns, right? No. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go find out and see what happens. All right, so hold this. I'm going to record it. Oh, at least we're near water. Yeah, it's a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a ton of oil. I know. At least it's like, hold. Oh, yeah, no. No wonder why they didn't cook that well. Holy crap, Dan. I know I put we put that much oil in. Well, it didn't look that much when we first did it. All right, we lost one. It's fine. Where's this going? On the fire? Please don't burn yourself up. No, we're not putting it on that one. We're no, I'm talking about your oil. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't eat that. It's on the ground. You're so gross. Oh. There goes nothing. Please don't spill it. This oil burn. Whoa! Oil burns. Oh, we had a cool. Danny, you're so bad. It so like hard. made it. It made like the background like green. Oh. I know. Right, got helicopter flying over us. Their light back there. Probably. Oh, now I hear it sizzling now. Yeah. So we'll cook this a little bit more. Put some of that extra oil out. Hopefully it don't stick. Shouldn't stick. See, we're not campers. Yeah. We're not campers, but we we made a lot of food for just two people. We ate a lot of food. We ate a whole shrimp ring. Well, I ate a whole shrimp ring. We ate four, four burgers. Two. I had two, you had two. I had one. So that's three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my wife ate a pickle. We didn't make the ham. Yeah, we didn't make the ham. But that's about it. We only out starve. Yeah, that's for sure. I swear I'm gaining like 20 pounds on vacation. Oh, all right, all right. So we've been uh, we've been sitting here for about five ten minutes. Threw the rest of the wood on. We're having a big fire, but we both had to move back. Well, that's a big belly. <laughs> it just sticks up. Somebody rocking. But yeah, we elevated the fire pit. We just packed that thing. We ain't care no more. Uh, how big the flame was, how much wood was on there. You guys can see our little grill right there. It's still kind of warm. We cooked our burgers on there, the asparagus and everything, which everything turned out pretty good. You know, like what? My shrimp. Well, yeah. Well, the shrimp was already cooked, and it mainly just took the water out of it and made them a little bit more drier. Oh, I am sweating like crazy. I might have to move back even further, but if I move back any further, I'll be in the road. This is the life. Yeah, little man sleeping. Well, not the one in your belly. She said he keeps on kicking her. 
but Liam's sleeping. Sweat so much. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> They're probably going to say the same thing about that big belly of yours. I know. <laughs> Star. That, that's me being mean. Hey, we could save ourselves a bunch of money. Oh. Yeah, she got good, good, good insurance. Oh, I was like, what the heck is on my screen? It's a stick sticking out the fire. Oh. Alright, I gotta go get that. I don't like my fire falling out the fire pit. Alright, so our camping trip is over. You got Liam. You got the car packed. Like brown spots on my face. What? Never really about Amish. And then we're taking the trip to the Amish, but I'm tired. That bed that was at the other the cabin. Mile. Use the right lane. Hard as ever. East ramp to Lancaster. And the only way I could sleep was having the air down, which made Liam not be able to sleep. So. Kind of had to compromise Use the right with that. Lane to take the Pennsylvania 283 All right, well, thank you everyone for watching our one of my adventures, and we'll see you next time. Which plane went? I'm not talking to it now. Mm, it's on camera. <laughs> I see.